earlier this summer come Zayad Ashesh, a 23-year-old from Jordan, part of a four-strong Jordanian boxing team. And approaching the boxing ring is the reigning Olympic champion, Roniel Iglesias of Cuba. So much experience under his belt to augment the considerable ability that he possesses. He up the steps to take up residence in the blue corner to get his world championship campaign underway. So the referee just checking the equipment of both boxes, ensuring that the belt of the trunks is at the correct height. Mouthpiece has now been inserted. Gloves bound correctly. And now the final instructions issued ahead of this contest between familiar rivals. Jose Romero Hernandez of Spain, the third man in the ring. So we're underway then. Action in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. This one between boxers from Jordan and Cuba. And the Southpaw wearing blue has just scored with a good bolo shot to the body, but he was troubled there by a marauding right hook from the aggressively start. Oh my goodness, that's roughhouse tactics that are simply not allowed. When well, he's part of a fighting family, is Zayad Ashesh. And his older brother, Hussein Ashesh is a similarly rough customer. One can only imagine what their backyard spas must have been like. He's here representing the Jordanian boxing team as well. But it's an aggressive start and a good scoring left hook followed by a right hand. Because Ashesh has come storming out of the gate, taking it to his more experienced opponent. Third world championship appearance for the man in red. Competing in 2017 in Hamburg and Yekaterinburg two years ago. And in 2017, in his first world championship appearance for the man who's currently 23 years of age, as we've got time called. Now, has an injury been sustained here? And it's been caused by an accidental clash of heads. And again, the roughhouse tactics applied by... Zayad Ashesh, well, the referee's going to have to take a firm hold of this, and you can see the contest has been stopped. And this is really unfortunate, but the marauding tactics that were employed, there was the clash of heads, and you see Iglesias dab on it immediately. So the portion of the round that is complete, being completed will be scored. This will be RSC. Sorry, we're going to the scorecards because it's been caused by an accidental clash of heads. And Iglesias, you can see his disconsolate over in the corner. A minute and ten and five seconds gone. And the aggressive start from Ashesh may well be enough to tilt the verdict in his favor. These, man met, these men met in the second preliminary round of the first world championship appearance of Ashesh. Iglesias competing here in his sixth world championships having taken gold in his first appearance in Milan 2009. Now, is the Olympic champion going to be eliminated? Ashesh feels that he's done enough in a minute and change that we had. We're going to the scorecard to declare who's going through to the next round. Nervous moments for both of the boxers now. Here's the verdict. And there it is, a unanimous point decision victory. The aggressive start from Zayad Ashesh paying dividends. 
And just a minute and five seconds into the contest, he gains a measure of competitive revenge for the defeat that he suffered in the 2017 World Championships at the hands of Ronnie El Iglesias. Here he prevails on a unanimous points verdict after a cut was inflicted by an accidental clash of heads between the Orthodox and Southpaw boxer. You could practically play the entire contest in this replay sequence. And that's where the clash of heads occurred near the ropes. The cut too significant, too severe for the contest to continue. And the reigning Olympic champion has been eliminated. In the unkindest fashion, 